Hi, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will take a look at um, the actual puzzle and see how much we can solve using what we have learned so far. So this is um, the app and these are what I have on my phone. Um, obviously, I like the advanced logic. These are all very hard levels. Um, I think I have maybe 15 of these. Um, what I do is after I serve them all, um, I will actually reset and then do it over. Um, each one of these, I probably did serve like five to ten times each one, right? Um, and then once I get sick of it, then I'll just buy another one. Just wanted to show you one here, the one on the top, which is Advanced Logic Tough 2. Number 15, um, I think this was by far the, the hardest one that I tried. Um, as you can see, it took me nearly four hours to finish this. Uh, I'm not going to give it away. I'm not going to show you what it looks like, but there is a part of this, uh, there was a part where uh, it took me, I think, maybe half of this time, probably about two hours was spent looking for that one particular clue. Um, I will probably put that, um, that that portion, I will probably put it on the tutorial soon. Uh, but it was very, very tough. This particular set was actually um, hard because each one you could see it took me over an hour to serve. You know, some more or less. Um, one of the earlier ones that I got, um, these were done well, less than an hour, some like 23 minutes, I see. Uh, anyway, so let's go to Advanced Logic Starters, so the free one that came with the with the app. Um, so I'm gonna start from number one, and let's apply what we have learned until now. So, of course, I look for the easy ones, the given ones in the beginning. Um, I start my puzzles with the clues filled in, the gray area, right? Go to settings, right? The top one, auto fill starting clues, right? I have that on all the time because I don't wanna, I don't want to spend any time looking for the zeros and, and the nines when I start the puzzle. So it, I'll just, just start with that. So look for the easy ones. Five and a three difference of two on the edge. So that means these two have to be black and these two gray, right? I see another one here, 5 and a 3 is on the edge. These two must be black, must be gray down here. Uh, now, if you want to know why that is, please go back to my videos. Um, and I, I have an explanation and exactly why that is. Um, another one here, 5 and a 3, difference of 2. So I need to have at least two, blaps, uh, two black squares on the top. One of them is already grayed out, so this has to be black, that has to be black. Since I have two black squares on the top, the bottom row will be all gray. Right? This is a given. That's a given. That's a given. That's a given. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Two, three, four, five. That's, I found three, three, three. Three, four, five. Okay. And then we come to this. Now we can do this in two different ways. Let me do it the first way is what we learned, which is five and a four, difference of one. Okay. So we're gonna look at the we're gonna compare the columns, uh, the rows here and here. I already have a one black uh, square here. So if I have one, that means I need to have at least two on this side. Okay. One of the rows is already gray so the two these two must be the, the two two black ones i have two here one here so the remaining row will be gray right now then this becomes given 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 and click that you're done another way let's go back to this okay now looking at the four in the middle among the empty spaces i could only have one more black square so I could only put one more black because I already have three, right? 
Now, if you're looking at if you look at the five and look at the the middle row and the bottom row, um, and the top row. Okay, we're gonna compare. So the top row for this three by three. Okay, so it's a top top row meaning look at the plus sign one two three. I could only put one black square because of the four, right? Only this could be only one black square. Now, going back to the five, if the top row could have only one black, then the middle row and the bottom row um, have to have the, the other four to make a five, right? Um, so these have to be, I have to have four black squares here. Um, and I would have two gray areas, so I only have four. So all these have to be black, right? So one, two, three, four. And then, and then one more black one here, right? And then this becomes given, that becomes given, 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 given. So we were able to solve this one. Um, and um, my next video um, is, um, I'm going to show you one, uh, uh, one small step that you need to know. Um, and then we're going to the puzzle number two. So please leave your comments or questions below. And stay tuned. Thank you.